Dear students, please note down. The notes of this video lecture are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we cover another important topic for BSc second year four semester students. Final exam topic that is structure of I in case of feature. Dear students, I of columbar leaf, the visual organ, the photoreceptor organ. In case of pigeon, the complete eye is named eye bowl, and this eye bowl is formed of three bowls. Its first bowl, that is outer fibrous coat, which provides the chemical support, and this outer fibrous coat having two parts. Its anterior part, this anterior bulging part, conical part. That is named cornea, and this cornea is non-vascular, means no blood supply. Dear students, not now. This is the only part cornea. It is without any blood supply, so it can be grafted to another. It means in case of mammals, in case of human beings, we can donate our cornea, and any animal which can accept. Cornea of another eye. This cornea, which is not vascular and thin, transparent one, oh, part, which is well covered by, anteriorly it is covered by another transparent membrane structure. It is conjunctiva. The yes, students, this conjunctiva having blood supply it is vascular. That while its nourishment to this cornea, no doubt this conjunctiva, this outer layer of this outer covering of this cornea, it is derived from upper and lower eyelids. No doubt, first pore of eye bowl is fibrous pore, having two parts. This anterior part is cornea, which is non-vascular without any blood supply. And this cornea is well covered by another transparent vascular, almost radish, epithelium, which is derived from this upper and lower eyelids. And this part is named conjunctiva. This posterior part of outer fibrous coatings, it is sclerotic. And this part, maximum part, that is enclosed. In the skull, except its anterior part, which is named white eye of eye bone, which is visible anterior. This sclerotic made up of fibrous connective tissue that provides. Shape to the eye wall. It provides mechanical strength to the eye wall. Second part is middle part that is uvea. It is vascular. First part is outer fibrous part that is the only part which is complete. Remaining two parts, two parts of eye wall are incomplete. The second middle vascular part is uvea. This uvea is divided into three parts. Its first part is choroid that lies in the skull region. The second part, this middle part, is almost fist-like in structure. Right? This arm-like structure that is choroid. This particular part is named ciliary body. And this finger-like part is named iris. It means the second middle part, which is vascular. It means it is enriched with blood vessels. And this middle part, which is vascular, that provides nourishment to the retina of eye. This middle part having three parts, it's First part, which is choroid. The 
second part is ciliary part, not our own. This ciliary part, this middle part of this middle cord. The ciliary body having one, two sets of muscles. Its anterior muscle is Crampton's muscle. Note our competition students. And this posterior muscle is named Brooks muscles. Both ciliary muscles, anterior and posterior, which are Crampton's and Brooks muscles, are involved in double accommodation of eye of each other. Not down and in front of these ciliary muscles, a bone ossicle is there. This one is sclerotic ossicle, which maintains pressure that develops at the time of accommodation of eye. The beach and shows double accommodation. It means in case of beach and both eyes. Cannot be adjusted on same object from different angles, but in case of human angle, in, in case of human beings, we can adjust our both eyes at one point. But in case of vision, both eyes cannot be adjusted on the same object from different angles. It means in case of vision, the vision is monocular. But we can adjust our both eyes from different angles at one object. That kind of vision is binocular. But in case of vision, the we, in case of vision column by the vision is monocular. The ciliary muscles, very important ciliary muscles, anterior one is cramped and posterior one is Brooks muscles, and these ciliary muscles are involved in double accommodation. At the time of accommodation, the pressure changes, and that pressure is maintained by this muscle, this bone that is sacrotic bone, ossicle. The next part of this middle vascular part that is eye is this finger like structure in front of legs. Both sides of eye are this. And close and aperture. This aperture is pupil which acts as a gate or shutter in front of this lens. It means this pupil which maintains, which allows the entry of amount of light. And for that purpose, the size of this aperture pupil, the iris for both sides having two sets of muscles, the circular muscles and longitudinal muscles. Yes, students, this iris. In case of pigeon, as well as in case of human beings, in case of mammals, the iris having pigmented cells. It means the color of eye is imparted by iris. Not a very important, very important part of this. Eye is middle, that is vascular cord, it is union. That vascular cord provides nourishment, spreads light to the retina. Its inner part is choroid, and its middle part is ciliary body, having two sets of muscles. And inner one is cramped, and the posterior one is Brooks muscles. Both ciliary muscles are involved in double accommodation. And at that time, accommodation time, the pressure changes, which is maintained by this bone, which is sclerotic or similar bone. Third part. Third, either it is nervous bone. And this nervous bone, it is named retina. The retina, the nervous bone, having two types of Photoreceptor cells, the roads and cones. The roads are responsible for dim light, but the cones, which are quite developed and more in case of pigeon, because the animal is diagonal and for the purpose of daylight visibility during daytime. More cones in case of pigeons are as compared to roads, because the animal is. 
this lens is which is transparent it is bi convex and it is covered by a lens capsule and this lens is maintained by the suspensory ligament which are derived from the ciliary body of both sides it means the lens is suspended by the suspensory ligament of ciliary body yes students know down this suspensory ligament and this lens which divide internally the eye hole into two unequal parts behind this lens this larger chamber is this is vitreous chamber and this vitreous chamber is filled with a jelly like substance that is vitreous humor but in front of this lens and between this cornea and lens this anterior small chamber is it is aqueous chamber yes so this sort of aqueous chamber it means this chamber having the watery fluid that is a filtered part of blood no doubt in case of vision eye as well as in case of human eye mammary eye that are internally two chambers are there posterior chamber is vitreous chamber which is filled with a jelly substance that is that is vitreous humor and anteriorly in front of this lens this chamber is aqueous chamber which is filled with a watery fluid that is aqueous humor that is a filtered part of blood not down in case of vision side two spots are there this one is which lies almost in the middle part of this retina in posterior region this particular part is yellow spot it is macula lutea and this particular part having cones only and in its center a depression is there cavity is there that is fovea centralis this yellow spot having cones only for daylight and this depression it is fovea centralis for better sharpening of Images. Not a another spot in posterior region. That is oh, that is blind spot. Through this blind spot, optic nerves are passed from eye to brain region. And near this blind spot, a rectangular, small, comb-like structure. is pectin or cornus papillaris very important for short eye questions in case of vision eye this important part there is cornus papillaris or pectin which is highly vascular not down here students this pectin is highly vascular it means this pectin this important part it involves in the nourishment of retina as well as this factor it maintains intraocular pressure of eye and this factor also involves in accommodation of eye as well as this factor involves in better perception of movements of objects this is all about eye gaze region columbalibia in case of eus in case of birds the students this this is visual organ this is for the receptor organ and this eye which is named eye ball having three cores outer fibrous cord and this cord its maximum part that lies in skull it is sacrolytic this anterior part is cornea which is non vascular in front of this it transparent membrane which covers this cornea that is derived from this upper and lower eyelid it is conjunctiva the middle part which is highly vascular that provides nourishment to retina at this middle part vascular part you can have three parts this inner part is choroid this middle part 
having skinny body, having no sex or muscles, and inner sex is the and posterior sex looks muscles, and these muscles, ciliary muscles are important double accommodation of body. And at that time of accommodation, the changes which develops are maintained by the bone. It is sacrosanct muscle. Iris of both sides which act which acts as diaphragm of eye and iris of both sides and close an aperture that is pupil shutter gate that the close amount of light which enters through this eye. The lens which is by convex structure and this lens is maintained by suspensory ligament that is that this. I internally is divided into two conical parts, posterior vitreous chamber and this anterior small aqueous chamber. And this retina in the nervous part, retina having cones and roads, more points, the cells, the motor sector cells for data. Having two spots, yellow spot and blind spot. In this blind spot, no cones and roads. But in this yellow spot, the only cause in its center depression or sharpening of image that is fovea centra. Another important organ that is tactile, that is a bone like structure, highly vascular, that provides nourishment to retina as well as it involves in accommodation, better perception of movements of object. This is all about vertical section structure of IOPJ and columbarium are the aims the birds.